Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Yeah. Yeah. What? what it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out some ratchetry in Hollywood. Oh, shit! Now, even though people have been hitting me up for like the last 30 minutes telling me to watch this clip, I've waited to watch it with y'all first. Now, people have told me that Will Smith has slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. I don't believe you. I've seen Will Smith slap somebody before when he slapped that one news reporter for doing some weirdo gay type shit. You know what I mean? Trying to kiss this nigga in the face and shit. Without further ado, I want to see this shit. We gonna watch it all. Denzel McBeth. Loved it. I love the part where it said, King Leto got nothing on me. <laughs> Y'all gotta see it. It's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins, but please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, face. can't wait to see it. All right? Look at her face. She's not happy. She don't like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. That wasn't that bad. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes! Oh, wow! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! Yeah! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nick likes me. That's your fucking mouth! Wow, dude! Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. What? That was a what? greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watch them, like, you know, like you read a book or something. <laughs> But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. Yeah. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah. The fact that Chris Rock was able to keep his composure after that shit. Just goes to show how truly awesome of a performer he was. That's acting for your ass. You know what I mean? Not coming out of pocket and fighting this nigga on stage. That's Acting, bro. You ever see that shit happen to me? And I don't steal off on this nigga. I was giving a performance of my lifetime, bro. I was acting the fuck out of some shit. Apparently, they talked after the slap. We gonna check that out. slapping the fuck out of Chris Rock. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, Will and Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party. Okay? But right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Will Smith was trying to get some pussy tonight. It sucks when you see somebody who's so successful and so awesome feel like they gotta fucking earn some pussy from their own masculine ass wife, bruh. I take one look at Jada Pinkett's face and there's no way that that's where vagina lives. And if it is, it's definitely dry. Will Smith, if you gonna fight over a bitch, at least let it be a faithful one. August Augustine, she gonna go get clapped out by him. Nothing wrong with fighting over a female that you at least believe is to be faithful. Everybody know that Jada Pinkett for the streets, my nigga. Everybody know! The worst part about this whole situation is apparently Will Smith won the Oscar and now this nigga gotta go up on stage and talk about how sorry he is and how it wasn't his fault and how it was an accident, all types of other excuses and bullshit. Now let's watch this nigga get up on stage and comb that shit the fuck over. This shit should be a hoot. Samuel Jackson in the back. Richard Williams um, was a fierce def- And that's why you're not supposed to fuck up on stage because now you gotta get back up on stage and the only way to win the people back over is to cry. You gotta cry like Chris Brown after he beat Rihanna and then went on stage for his Michael Jackson tribute. If y'all ever see me crying on stage, it's because I hit a bitch ass nigga and I'm not trying to lose his sponsorship money. <laughs> Fender no. of his family. No. Yeah. So you defended your bitch from a G.I. Jane joke, my nigga? That was a soft core ass joke, bro. He didn't say the bitch looked like 50 Cent in that cancer movie he did back in the day. <laughs> in this time in my life, in this my nigga going through it. moment, my nigga going through it. I am mm. overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Yeah, you got to choose your words wisely. Making this film, I got to protect Anjanou Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest. Ugh most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Dan. This nigga's gonna use the whole Me Three movement. I was protecting the bitch from a joke. Don't let Michael Blackson get on stage and crack a joke about this bitch. He'd have had to shoot his black ass. That shit wasn't even funny, bro. I ain't laugh when he cracked that joke. I don't give a fuck about Jada Pinkett going out and fucking G.I. Jane too. Ugh. Emmy. The two actresses that played Venus and Serena. Boo! Nigga! No, boo! Boo! I'm being called on in my life. No, you're not, nigga! No, you're not! To love people. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, to love people. And okay. to protect people. Not from jokes. Don't protect over jokes. And to be a river to my people. Nah, nah, you're No. Nah. Now, I know to do what we do. Yep. You gotta be able to. You gotta cry for that money, my nigga. <laughs> you have to cry to get that check back. And I just know that. That's the best thing to do. You got what you gotta do is you gotta use Jesus, uh, the Me Three movement, the Me Too movement. Bro, I wouldn't be so. This nigga's using family. This nigga's pulling all the Trump cards, nigga. <laughs> To take abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. I wasn't crazy. That wasn't crazy. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. That's real. I wasn't disrespectful. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. Yeah. And nigga, I got to do that shit. That's real. You know what I mean? Y'all think, nice? think I'm this nice in real life? Fuck no, nigga. As the late, great... Dave Chappelle was saying, I'll pull my balls out in real life, nigga. Skate, 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 skate! But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D, 
Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Don't let it be no battle over no bitch you ain't even fucking faithful, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Bitch ain't even really got your back like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, some females, bro, they is they're masters at convincing you that they got your back, and then when they off smashing a whole bunch of other niggas, that they was going through some mental issues. Oh my God, I, I was in a spot and I just didn't love myself. And I knew, and I, in my brain, God told me, in order to find love, I just had to suck it out of your friend's penis. I'm the victim. It wasn't even cheating, it was an entanglement. If you get mad at me for fucking your friend, then you're jealous and I'm gonna use that overreaction of you getting mad that I'm cheating on you to put more distance in between us and give you less pussy. That is literally how females train niggas to simp on the bitch. Bro, I had this one bitch I was with, uh, what was her name? Dr. Girlfriend? Man, that bitch, that filthy ass bitch tried that shit too. In the beginning, you know what I mean? She tried that bullshit, come home one day, talk about some, I met a friend at the library, I got his number, he's such a, a great guy, we're friends, woo! Right? And then I was like, yo, like, so you getting other niggas' numbers? Like, yo, like, what, what, like what's up? You know what I mean? Because we were supposed to be exclusive. And she's like, no, you don't understand. He's just a friend of mine. You know, like, he's just a friend from school. Like, you're just being jealous right now. Like, he's just a friend. So then I was like, and this is what works on females. Use their bullshit against them. Whenever a female come at you with some stupid shit, like, oh yeah, I just met this dude up, got his number, and we're just gonna be friends, and that's it. I'm just gonna be going hanging out with him, and we're just friends. Whenever a female hits you with some stupid shit like that, you know what I said back to her? I was like, oh word, I right, cool, bet. I'ma go out, I'ma make some female friends, and I'ma go hang out with them, and we just gonna be friends. And you know what this whack ass bitch said to me? Oh, oh, that's, that's different, that's different, what you're doing is wrong. That's different, it's different. No, that's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. Really, nigga? But when you run into some dumb shit like that, don't overreact, don't trip, don't hit the bitch. Understand what it is, your female for the streets, and act accordingly. It's at that exact time when she did that bullshit that I stopped being faithful to the bitch. Because unlike this nigga Will Smith, I ain't about to be in a relationship with a bitch that ain't in a relationship with me. You feel me? Stop falling for these females bullshit and don't love these hoes, my nigga. Like, dudes gotta learn not to be so faithful, yo. A lot of people be like, man, that's fucked up. But think of it this way. I was with that chick for like three, four more years. You know what I'm saying? If I hadn't have turned that switch in my brain that said, okay, this bitch is for the streets, but don't mean I can't get some use out of the hoe. You know what I mean? But yo, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is your boy Blast from Sage D. Twizzles.